Hi, this is Paul Edmonds from finishyoursong.com. What I've got here for you is a video walkthrough on setting up the Waves Vocal Rider. Now, if you're familiar with the way that I've set my sessions up from some of the previous videos, you'll know that what I tend to do is to have all the tracks going into a set of subgroups. In this case, we've just got four subgroups one for bass, one for drums, one for the keyboards and one for vocals and then they feed along with the effects into a stereo mix channel which then goes to the stereo out. That gives me a more control over the output stages of the song. What I want to show you in this video is to have a look at setting up the vocal rider and how I work with that and how I side chain it to the stereo mix. As an aside, I'm a relatively new user of Waves. Uh, until recently, to use Waves plugins, you had to use an iLock. And as I'm a Cubase user, I'm already tied into using an e-licensor. And that meant having two specialized USB bits of kit that I'd have to cart around with me. I often do a lot of work away from home. However, Waves have abandoned the iLock in favour of being able to download your licenses onto any USB stick. Now in these days of gigabyte USB sticks, quite a few people like myself have USB sticks of much smaller capacity that aren't really much use anymore. And my old 256 megabyte Cruiser Mini USB stick has found a new lease of life as the home for the Waves uh, licenses or the license for the vocal rider. So, having said that, how do we set it up? Well, you can simply put it on your vocal channel as an insert. And in fact, if you look on the Waves website, that's how their tutorial does it. But what I'm going to do is a slightly different approach that gives you a bit more control um, and makes the vocal rider more responsive to the overall dynamics of the track. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first rename this stereo mix to be a submix and then I'm going to flip over to my uh, main console here and I'm going to add two group channels. And it's going to add them for me there. I'm going to call this one Vocal Rider and this one Stereo Mix. And because I like my colours, I'm just going to recolor them as a Stereo Mix channel. They're all taking various elements of the final mix and blending them together. So we pop back into our uh, view here, just wind across. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the stereo, the submix, and I'm going to route that to the stereo mix. I'm also going to take the vocal rider and route that to the new stereo mix. And I'm going to take the vocal, which is here, and is currently routed to the vocals subgroup and I'm going to route that to the vocal rider. So now what we have is all the music going into the group channels which in turn go into the submix except the vocal which goes into the vocal rider channel and then both of those feed into the stereo mix and then into the stereo output. And what I'm now going to do is as an insert on the vocal rider I'm going to put the actual Vocal Rider plugin. And when it installs, it installs in a vocals set, and you actually get four options. The, vo the two live ones are for use in live settings, which leaves you with the Vocal Rider Mono and the Vocal Rider Stereo. Now, Buggins here didn't quite get it right the first time I used this and I put the vocal rider mono on thinking well I'm dealing with a vocal channel it's a mono signal. Wrong. What you want is the vocal rider stereo because the group channel you're sending it to is a stereo channel. 
If you want to find out what happens when you put the mono on a stereo channel, check out my mix of Graham Cochran's Already There and listen to the vocal in the verses. You'll find that it wanders around as it, the vocal rider desperately tries to find the right setting for the song. So what we're going to do here is put the vocal rider stereo on the channel. And up it comes. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to activate the side chain. Now depending on your DAW, the side chain will be different. But in this particular case, in Cubase, it's simply a matter of clicking on that button. Now what we have is the side chain it is open and we're going to come here to the send on the submix and we're going to send the submix to the side chain of the vocal rider. I'll activate it. What will happen now is when we play the song, the music will come in and the vocal rider will pick it up and use that to judge how much it should be altering the vocal level as well as using the target that we'll set up here. When you set it up on a channel the vocal rider simply tries to balance the vocal against the target level that you set and will cause that to go up and down. When you've got the side chain activated, it also takes into account the music and the dynamics of the music that are playing in the track. Now the track in question here is Thanks for Breakfast by Jessica Ripka. And uh, so we'll listen to a little bit of that and set it up as we go. So back to the Cubase and here we go. I bought a house and filled it without you Bought a car and kept it without you Now the first thing to note is that the green light came on immediately to show that the vocal rider was receiving music. You can adjust the sensitivity of the vocal rider to both the vocal and the music that's coming through the side chain using these and also its response rate. we will also see these flash on and off as the vocal rider adjusts and you've got the rather flashy up and down of the fader. You can adjust the output if you feel that it's getting the balance right but not the level and these range sliders constrain the amount of adjustment that you're going to find on your song. So what you're trying to do is to set the target so that it's balancing the level of the actual vocal correctly and then use these to set the song so that you get the right balance between the music and the vocal and get them interacting correctly. So we'll have another little bit of a listen to that. I bought a house and filled it with a From here on in, any adjustments are down as you mix the song, but that's how you set up the vocal rider to work with a side chain. Until next time, take care of yourselves.